In this video, we will find the integral of cosec square x sec cube x. So, suppose this integral is i and we know that cosec x is 1 upon sin x. So, we have 1 upon sin square x and sec x is 1 upon cos x. So, we have 1 upon cos cube x dx. Now, 1 multiply by 1 is 1. So, we have 1 upon sin square x cos cube x dx. Now, we can replace this 1 by cos square x plus sin square x upon sin square x cos cube x. Now, This fraction can be written as cos square x upon sin square x cos cube x plus sin square x upon sin square x cos cube x. Now we can cancel this cos square x with this cos cube x so we have 1 upon sin square x cos x we will subtract the powers of cos x so 3 minus 2 is 1 and this sin square x and this sin square x can be cancelled so we have 1 upon cos cube x so we will apply integral on both the terms so we have integral of 1 upon sin square x cos cube x dx plus integral of 1 upon cos cube x dx. Now again we will replace this 1 by cos square x plus sin square x upon sin square x cos x dx plus integral of now 1 upon cos cube x can be written as sec cube x dx <coughs> now we can break this fraction into two fractions so we have cos square x upon sin square x cos x plus sin square x upon sin square x cos x dx plus integral of sec cube x dx and then we have after cancellation we have cos x upon sin square x plus sin square x and sin square x can be cancelled so we have 1 upon cos x dx plus integral of sec cube x dx <coughs> now we will apply integral on both the fractions so we have integral of cos x upon sin square x dx plus integral of 1 upon cos x dx plus integral of sec cube x dx and this can be written as cos x upon sin square x dx plus integral of sec x dx plus integral of sec cube x dx this integral is just i and now we will integrate this integral and this integral separately. So first of all we will integrate cos x upon sin x sin square x dx and suppose this integral is i1. So let 
u is equal to sin x so the differential du is equal to the derivative of sin x which is cos x multiplied by dx so the integral i1 can be written as integral of du upon u square and then we have integral of u to the power minus 2 du now we know that integral of x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so we will apply the power rule of integration over here so we have u raised to the power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 so we have minus 1 upon u and this can be written as minus 1 upon sin x so the integral of cos x upon sin square x is minus cosec x now we will integrate sec cube x dx first of all this can be written as sec x multiplied by sec square x dx and then let u is equal to sec x and dv is equal to sec square x we will integrate this function by integration by parts so the differential du is equal to the derivative of sec x which is <coughs> sec x tan x and here we will integrate both sides so we have v integral of dv is v and integral of sec square x is tan x now the formula of integration by parts is, is integral of u dv is equal to u v minus integral of v du so we have sec x in place of u and in place of dv we will put sec square x dx is equal to uv u is sec x and v is tan x minus integral of v du v is tan x and u is sec x tan x dx <coughs> now this can be written as sec cube x dx is equal to sec x tan x minus integral of sec x tan square x dx then we have sec square sec cube x dx is equal to sec x tan x minus integral of sec x and in place of tan square x we can put sec square x minus 1 dx and then we have integral of sec cube x dx is equal to sec x tan x minus integral of sec cube x dx plus integral of sec x dx So we can take this integral on the other side so we have 2 times integral of sec cube x dx is equal to sec x tan x plus integral of sec x and then the integral of sec cube x dx is equal to half of sec x tan x plus half of integral of sec x dx now the integral i is integral of 
cos x upon sin square x dx plus integral of sec x dx plus integral of sec cube x dx. So in the integral of cos x upon sin square x is minus cosec x plus integral of sec x dx plus integral of sec cube x is half of sec x tan x plus half of integral of sec cube x dx. Now first we will write half of sec x tan x minus cosec x and integral of sec x plus half of integral of sorry this is integral of sec cube x so we have 3 upon 2 integral of sec x dx so the final answer is 1 upon 2 sec x tan x minus cosec x plus 3 upon 2 and the integral of sec x is ln of tangent of pi by 4 plus x upon 2 plus c where c is the constant of integration.